Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. There's an old modern Greek saying that more things happen in just a minute than happen in a full year. Think about it a minute. It takes you just a minute to be conceived, all of us. It takes us just a minute to be born. It takes us just a minute to say goodbye forever. Just a minute. The only thing that takes a long time is to talk about just a minute for a full minute. It seems like you've been talking for hours and the minute isn't even over yet. There's nothing else to say. Just the things I already said about just a minute. So think about that. Hi, just welcome to Teresa's Just a Minute talk show. Just a minute, I have to have some coffee now. Mmm, this coffee is delicious. I discovered in my travels through the mundane that talking about stupid things for an extended length of time will pretty much generate you a lifetime job in the media. Look, for example, at somebody like Geraldo Rivera. That's a perfect example of somebody who's just perfectly inane surviving in the media. Therefore, I feel there's a place for a person like me to just sit around with you today for just a minute and drinking coffee. That's all I'm planning to do. Um, and it's delicious. Do you have coffee at your house? You know, my goal is really to drink as much coffee as I possibly can because I really want my teeth to look like an ear of Indian corn. We'll talk about this and other things next time on Teresa's Just a Minute Talk Show. Just a minute. You can come in. The door is open. Oh, I've been expecting you. You have my wig? I need it today. I've got to go on the set. I can't go on like this, naked. You call that a wig? Looks like something the cat dragged in. Where did you get that? Oh, my God. Listen. You take that back to Mr. Farinacci and tell him I want a blonde wig, long, very long hair down to here. Because I'm going to be a star. Do you understand? And it's in this magic wig. Just a minute. I'm here to tell you a very important piece of information. That's right. I'm here on Idiosyncrasies to talk to you for just one minute about a real crippling disease. It's the disease of scripts. Who needs a script when you can improvise? Who needs a script in life? Everyone improvises. Everyone is spontaneous. This is really important for you to know. That's why a group of us have banded together to ban scripts. From now on, everyone must be spontaneous. Everyone must act on their impulses. If they don't, who knows what could happen. So I've just taken a minute of our time, of my valuable time, to come here and share this information. Just a minute. Just a minute. Let him in. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was you, John Doyle. So you've come with the money? I'm going to be senator of this state. And you know it. And with your connections and with what I have on you, this isn't being taped, is it? I'm going to be the head of the democratic politics in this state. Yes, I'm tired of those southern senators coming up here and taking over. No, you listen to me. When I get in the state house, I'm getting that fat Italian out of there. And I'm going to take over. There's going to be big changes here in this state. The people will love me. You remember Huey Long? Well, I read all his his political savvy. 
Don't correct me when I mispronounce. That's why you're nowhere. And that's where I am where I am and where I'm going to go. Now you take that back to Boss Tweedy and tell him just what I said. You got this? And don't try any schemes with me because I got people watching you. Your every move. You can't blink your goddamn eyes without me knowing about it. People have said <clears throat> that I'm not really the kind of person that you want to be seeing on your television set. All I can say is they gave me just a minute to prove differently, and I, I think I can. Have you noticed in the media that they're specifically going for a more attractive look than, say, your average person? I think there's something wrong with that, don't you? I think there's something overblown. We want to see people like, hey, that's a perfect example of acting. That's acting, what I was doing just now, and you can do it too on Teresa's Just a Minute with Acting. For example, let's take it like this. Hi, welcome to Teresa's talk show. See, that's a little heavy-handed, and we both knew that, didn't we? <laughs> Next time, tune in and I'll show you how to learn how to sing and sound like you're really singing when you can't really hold a tune. Like this guy out on the street, right now. See you next time. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Funny, isn't it, the things that can happen in just a minute? There's an old modern Greek folk saying that says, more things happen in just a minute than happen in a whole year. Think of it. It takes about a minute for all of us to be conceived. We're born in just about a minute. And when we go, it takes just a minute, the final minute. Just a minute. It doesn't take a year for anybody to be born or a year for anybody to die or for a year for anybody to be conceived. I don't think. It just takes a minute. The only thing that really takes a long time is to talk for a minute about things that can happen in a minute. Then it seems like you've got about four hours to talk in and you can't fill the time. But we try even without cues telling us we've got 30 seconds to go or 20 seconds to go or 10 seconds to go, we keep talking. It might be a little stubborn. I move, we move. Another chance to take. Odds are we won't lay them until tomorrow. I eat your lions. I eat your lions. And they're taking away Next on this. You know what? I decided, Tom, it's not. That's his role model. I know.